Um, could you describe your role in the business community here in Chattanooga or your job? Like sure. I, it's kind of a wild job. Um, I started a company called Access America Transport, and it was a third-party logistics company. I started it 12 years ago with my two best friends and a, and a guy named Miller Welburn. And uh, we started it, and we actually just sold it about two weeks ago. And it was um, a big logistics company. We ended up employing about 500 pe 550 people. And I have eight offices around the country, headquartered here in Chattanooga. And then um, we just, about three years ago, we started a company called Lamp Post Group. And Lamp Post Group is a business incubator. And basically, we help start other businesses. And so we help people start businesses. So we, so like, it's kind of like Shark Tank style, where a team will come in and kind of pitch us an idea, and we will... Um, you know, we kind of like it or don't like it, and kind of give them some advice and mentor them, and um, we'll end up kind of giving them some funding, and uh, then we'll kind of help mentor them and help grow their business. Okay, so um, what role do you think kind of the growth in entrepreneurship and business has played in Chattanooga in the recent years? Um, so a big thing, I think, was the gig tank, or so EPB came out with this gig, and so we've got a fiber, net, you know, a fiber mesh network about a 600-mile radius of Chattanooga. And so EPB kind of laid this fiber network. And it was kind of cool. One of my partners, Alan uh, Davis, he's a real super um, futuristic guy. And he, um, he saw this and he was like, oh, my gosh, people don't even understand what we have. You can get like a gigabit um, network to your, um, like to your house. And so we really saw that as a real opportunity um, really for like the tech scene. And so uh, we kind of helped sponsor and kind of helped put on with CoLab this gig tank about, uh, I guess it was two or three years ago. And that was kind of the first big thing where we had all of these teams from all over the world come to Chattanooga to kind of help pitch businesses. And we also had a, a college sector where we had these ultra bright kids um, come to Chattanooga to kind of like play around with the gig. And what, what was real so cool is we've ended up hiring at least three or four of the college kids, and these are like seeds we planted a couple years ago. They've since graduated. In fact, we just had a guy from MIT, a programmer. He has just moved um, from Boston with his wife to Chattanooga, and he's working for one of our startups, and he's a, uh, he's a computer programmer, just brilliant kid, and it's kind of cool to see um, EPB kind of took this big chance, and we ended up, you know, the community really rallied and kind of came up with this contest and, um, you know, we've, we've kind of capitalized on it. Yeah, that's great. Okay, so well, kind of going on to that, you know, Chattanooga is lucky to be home of all these startups like Lampost. We have Amazon, Volkswagen. Why do you think it's important for a city to have both big and small businesses? Well, I, I think Access America is a good example of that. Um, Access America, you know, we were very small in the beginning. We kind of started the company literally kind of in a closet, just me and, and my partner. And um, in the beginning, we were really um, working with a lot of small customers, um, people that would, you know, ship a, a load or two a month. And we had some really cool things happen. A guy named Dennis Riddle, who's actually at Komatsu, and Komatsu, you know, manufactures, you know, excavators and dump trucks and stuff. He gave us, and it's a big, it's a big employer in Chattanooga, and he gave us a uh, chance. Probably he probably shouldn't have given us a chance because we were so small. But he's like kind of believed in you know us and thought we, we thought we could do the job. And so he kind of gave us a contract early on, and that I mean that there's a lot of people that kind of gave us a chance, and he was a, a really big driver that like you know gave us some business and we just serviced the heck out of it. And from there, that helped us go get John Deere, which is a huge company, Caterpillar, which is actually our biggest, you know, it was our second biggest account. And so, you know, somebody locally, a, a neat Chattanooga businessman that's, you know, kind of believed in us and gave us a shot, helped grow our business, which helped us go get other big, uh, you know, like Fortune 100 companies. Okay. That sounds great. Well, 